guess just talk about the last exhibition and you know what you saw from the guys and kind of what you uh, want to carry over to this last one. I think the the biggest thing, you know, especially in the second half, we we played how we've been practicing with ball movement, um, taking good shots, um, not turning it over, which was really good. You know, I think we had eight turnovers for the game. Um, and then defensively, we, we made the rotations that we had been working on. And that was the, the biggest point of emphasis was just like, it needs to look like practice. So the things we've emphasized, that should carry over. And I uh, thought the guys did a pretty good job there. Any, anybody in particular that you need to, to hope to see in this last one before the regular season? I know a couple guys were out. And yeah. you, know, you said the starters and minutes were kind of down a little bit. Yeah, um, you know, we're, we're hoping to get Lukai in the mix with this game. So I think he should. Um, Femi will still be day to day. And then again, it's nothing serious. It's more of, um, you know, with the contact piece, I just want to make sure. Um, but other than that, um, you know, we should be should be full strength. So the challenge is you know, you're adding a piece with Lukai. So somebody's minutes are going to be adjusted because, again, I want to get on film everybody. I want to be able to give everybody a shot. Um, and then also see just kind of where we're at. So the minutes um, will probably, you know, fluctuate a lot more this game, um, adding a couple more bodies, and we'll just kind of play it from there. How do you go about establishing a rotation, Ben? Is you, you know the Big Ten now, you, you know the, what November is and December is and all that. Yeah. Yeah. But you got a lot of new players to get. You do. What, what's the process then? Yeah, that, and that's what I've used these two games for to try to figure out kind of where guys are at in a game setting to, to help make those decisions. Um, and that's the beauty of these games. So, you know, again, Dawson's probably not going to play hopefully over 20 minutes, you know, stuff like that, to give other guys those reps. Um, you know, I know, you know, hopefully the freshman will get some more minutes just so I can, again, gauge where they're at. Um, KB guys that I think, you know, are going to be able to provide something off the bench. Um, and then, you know, once you get into play, like early in the year, you're probably going to start with more guys getting an opportunity. You're looking at, you know, for us, hopefully that 9, 10 mark. And then as the year kind of progresses, you figure out uh, as we get closer to, to January and the heat of the league play, kind of where you're at and what your rotations look like. But you want to give a big enough sample size in that November, December to kind of figure out, um, you know, rotations from that standpoint. Do your transfers have a pretty good idea what Big Ten play is like? Have they played enough basketball or is it, is it a – you know, baptism by fire. Yeah, I think it's a combination of both. Um, you know, Brennan definitely does because he played, you know, played power five. I think the biggest thing is like we're telling, you know, Frank and Lukai, um, you know, Trey. It's one thing to, to play a, you know, a team like that once or twice. It's another to do it back to back. You know, you got 18 of them in a row or 19 with the Big Ten tournament. Um, and so it's just the consistency of how you have to perform um, it's the consistency of like your habits and the details every single day. So that will be a process because I think that just kind of takes time because um, it's, it's just more of a mental grind than anything. Um, but that's where the other guys need to kind of show the ropes in practice about the intensity level and where that needs to be. Uh, Brendan and Isaac played really well in the backcourt and then you add Lukai to that. But at the same time, you want to see as much as you can from Brendan and Isaac because they haven't played for you. Yeah, no, exactly. Uh, you know, Mike played really well. You know, Mike played, I think he played 30 or 32 minutes. Like, he's not going to play that this game. I, I know what Mike can do. Um, and so, yeah, I know I want to I be able to get Lukai and Brennan playing together. Um, you know, I want to get different combinations on the perimeter since we're adding a piece. You know, Lukai and Mike playing together. Um, Isaac getting more opportunity. Grayson, hopefully, um, you know, I want to play him more minutes than I was able to last game if I can. Um, so that that's the that is the challenge. When you know it's so hard, you know Steve Kerr figured it out really quick in a 40-minute game. It's almost impossible to play you know 10, 11 guys. And when you're trying to give guys an opportunity, and you're trying to get guys something that they can show on film. You know that ultimately is the challenge. So I have to figure that out. Sure you get calls from all the coaches around here that want one of these exhibition games from the other levels. So how do you determine who gets to how's Hamlin get the yeah. get the draw this year? You know, it's it's always different. Sometimes could be the last guy that calls me that I just that I pick up. Um, you know, sometimes guys will guys have actually hit me years in advance, and so I'll have to like have some recall to remember. Like, oh, that's right. You know, two years ago I told you we play. Um, I think the biggest thing, though, honestly, one of the biggest things is it's got to be a team that you know has a true big. So if we're gonna do one of these deals, it can't be somebody that has 
uh, untraditional five men because we got to get reps. Our five men have to have somebody to guard. So there, there's a lot that goes into that. We're like, okay, what does this roster look like? Because it's, it's got to help us too, you know, it's a give and take. And so we try to really examine that, all right, who has a true post or who has two true posts that can give us a look or a look that we're going to need to work on. Um, so that, that factors in some of it too. And just relationships, you want to be able to help out anybody or everybody that you can, um, you know, and hopefully next year we'll be able to continue this. Hamlet's a lot question. better than when Dave Thorson played. I was going to say, Thor, Thor, Thor doesn't have to make a donation to the alumni. Yeah, right no, this is it, right? This is the donation. And then that they play really bad. That's part of the agreement. Um, no, it is kind of good to, you know, be able to, uh, you know, play his alma mater and, um, we've got some, some relationships with that, with that school and that program. Um, they're close. I think that also is pretty cool. And you know, hopefully their fans and students and family will be able to, you know, just hop over and, and get the opportunity to watch their, their team play here. That's part of the deal um, that I enjoy is that, you know, it's kind of a community thing. And, and to be able to, you know, have a, a good crowd for those guys is, is also part of the plan. Is there any, um, do you pay attention to a scouting report for a game like this just to let the guys know what the yeah, it's strictly for that. So we give them, you know, a scouting report so they understand kind of the rhythm of how we do stuff. It's kind of a skeleton of the scout two days out. Um, we try to go through all of that just for that purpose. We don't really go as far as like in depth of what they do offensively because you just you don't know. So it's a lot more of just our principles, but we'll walk through certain things and talk about personnel to give them, again, those reps. I think that's really good. Um, you know, we'll do a walkthrough tonight like we normally always do. I just think the more you can simulate what it's like, you know, when we really open up on the sixth, I think the better. With the football team doing as well as they have and you can bring recruits in there, that kind of atmosphere, like how does that help? Oh, yeah, I think it always does. I think, you know, everybody wants to be a part of winning and experience winning. And I think just the, the energy that, that was in the stadium, um, you know, I think it's, 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 it, it never hurts, you know, and I don't care what team it is. If there's a team that's really rolling and playing well, um, you know, that obviously helps just camaraderie of everything. And hopefully, you know, it, it trickles down to other teams that are beginning their season, you know. Um, fall forts kind of set the tone from that standpoint and um, it creates a, a great energy and great feeling and I know our guys follow you know everybody that's that's in the fall sport um, and it, it gives you something to strive for right you don't want to be the weakest link especially when the people are playing well you want to hold up your end of the bargain so to be able to uh, to have football playing like they are is nothing but a positive thing and um, really enjoy you know being able to experience that environment. You mentioned the, um, you don't have to see the seniors much because you know what also, I'm sure want to see him take another step forward just for another year. So are you seeing that at least from in practice? Yeah, so far in practice. Yeah, yeah. No, so far in practice, um, you know, that, that's been a point of emphasis for those older guys is that, you know, is there a step in maturity-wise? Is there a step in leadership? Some of those little detailed things. Um, Production-wise, I kind of know for the most part what you're going to get. But who are you bringing along with you? Um, or who are you mentoring? Who are you helping get caught up to what we do? Because that's just as valuable as production. You know, if we can get everybody clicking sooner than later and get the, the standard and the expectation understood by everybody, uh, especially the young guys and the new guys, um, you know, that just helps with, you know, how quickly we can get this thing growing and playing well. So um, from that standpoint, 100%, I think they've been great in practice um, with all of that, leading by example and, and also leading just vocally. Seen this guy wide receiver. 